What's up guys, another day, another disassembly, and today we're taking apart the Samsung Galaxy A71. Let's first go ahead and remove the SIM tray. We're going to use a blow dryer or a heat gun to heat the back plate up so we can loosen up any adhesive underneath it so it's easier to pry off. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool and work our way around the back of the phone and pry the back off. Once we have the back plate off, we have 14 Phillips screws we need to remove. So let's go ahead and remove those. Once we have all the screws removed, we're going to take our pry tool and we're going to place it between the border of the screen and the frame of the phone. And we're going to work our way around, popping off the catches. So here's the back housing. You have your power button and the volume buttons over here. And here's the flex cable for that. And if you want to remove those, you just peel off this flex cable, generally so you don't rip it. And then there's a tab over here, a gray tab covering that you'd have to peel off as well. And you'll be able to remove the buttons and replace them. You have your speaker assembly right here on the bottom. Also, you have antennas running throughout the back housing, these gold lines, as you can see. And one thing to note, the back housing is plastic, just like the A51. However, the mid-frame is a type of aluminum or metal, so at least that's one good thing. Next, we're going to disconnect the battery cable, located right here. Just pop it up. Then we're going to disconnect this flex cable leading from the main board to the subboard on the bottom, which has a charger port. There's one wire cable we have to remove. It's going to be from the top and the bottom board. As far as replacing the screen goes, at this point, once you take the back off, you disconnect the battery cable. You'd have access to the screen cable located over here. You just have to disconnect it, heat the front of the screen up so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then you would pry the screen off the mid-frame, apply new adhesive, Get your new screen, run the cable back through the slit over here, attach it to the board, and reapply the screen on the front and just reassemble the phone. As far as replacing the battery goes, there is no easy pull tabs, so you basically just have to heat the battery up and use a plastic pry tool to gently pry the battery off the mid-frame. So you basically take a membership card or something thin and flat that you could get underneath from the bottom or from the sides of the battery and just gently work your way in and prying off the battery. Don't do it from the top because you damage the cable assembly over here. Now I like to start off with the guitar pick since it's more flexible and gets me some room underneath it so I could get my membership card placed underneath it.
Here's a closer look at the battery. Now in order to remove the main board, we have one Phillips screw located right here. We have to remove that. And we lift up and remove the main board. So here's a closer look at the main board. You have one camera over here attached. You can just disconnect it by popping up the cable. You have your front facing camera right here. Same thing, just pop it off and you can disconnect the camera like this. Disconnects. Here's the back side of the board. The rest of the connectors for the cameras are located here. You'll be able to disconnect those by popping it off the same way as the front. You have your SIM card readers over here. You also have your proximity sensor right here. Next, we have two more Phillips screws holding down the fingerprint reader and it's connected over here on the charger port board. Let's go ahead and remove those screws. Disconnect that. Here's a closer look at the fingerprint reader. Now we're going to disconnect the screen cable. You have some adhesive holding down the charger port board. Just gently pry it up. Here's a closer look at the charger port board. You have a liquid damage indicator underneath it. That's your headphone jack. That's the charger port right there. And here's the front. Your microphone's located right here. That cool piece. At this point, you're basically left with the mid-frame. You have your vibrator motor right over here. You have your earpiece over here on top. And the screen that's attached to the mid-frame. All right, now it's time to reassemble the phone. Now once you got all your screws back in place, apply new adhesive on the back of the phone and then reapply your back plate. And turn it over. Power it on. And you're done. So overall it's a fairly easy disassembly process. So replacing parts on this phone should be fairly simple and there isn't too many wires inside to make it more complicated. Thanks again for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.